Um, you know, I think I like the way we, uh, every drive we were able to, well, most of the drives we were able to move the ball and um, able to do some good things. But, you know, we got to find ways to score points. And uh, that's, that's something we got to focus on this week because uh, we just being able to finish in the end zone is uh, take some pressure off our defense and, you know, stay on the field a little longer and things like that so it can help out the team. So we'll focus on that. <clears throat> I think he's been doing great, and I think I have great confidence in him. He's been doing you know, really a good job with making quick calls at the line and uh, getting guys set, getting them lined up, and um, just kind of came in without a hitch and he's been doing a great job. I know he was described as analytical by some guys a few weeks ago. Is that pretty helpful to have a guy like that? You think process things with that? Yeah, I think, it, I think it helps out the entire offensive line. I think they have a confidence in him. And his um, ability to make calls and you know and be smart in, in those situations, and um, I trust him a lot, so it it helps everyone. What do you remember from watching the game last year, the Rex's game that uh, It was tough to watch. I, I did get the travel, but I uh, watched it here. Um, so I mean, not much. Um, no real takeaways from that. I mean, they obviously will have the same talented team as they do, as they seem to have every year. And um, they'll be quick and athletic and strong up front. So that'll be a good challenge for us again this week. When you went back and watched it Saturday, did you like the way the offensive line played overall? Are you just complimentary after the game? Or how did you think that? Yeah, I think they did a good job. I think that was a good front, a consistent, you know, tough pass rush. and. Um, you know, I was able to have time and go through reads and um, you know, get through my progressions well. And I think they played their butts off. And I think that was a good uh, challenge for them and you know, get them especially ready for this week. You know, it's difficult at first, you know, you're obviously being competitive and you want to win and you want to win big games. So that game was tough, but I mean, we have to put it behind us. There's really no other option. So, um, so we'll focus on that, especially as leaders and captains, you know, it's our, our job to, to steer the ship and make sure everyone's doing the right things and um, continuing to work hard and, uh, you know, bringing, it, bringing a, a focus and a, a motivation this week to, you know, get a big win. Yeah, I think it's just the the bond I think we've built from the from summer going, uh, just going through those conditionings and you know you, you do build a bond there and I think that's a just kind of a family atmosphere we've built in the locker room and it's it's helped us um, as we've gone through some adversity this year. I think that's definitely something I've been able to lean on and um, I just kind of have a trust in my teammates that they're always going to be there for me, you know, for each other. So uh, I think we'll continue to work hard because we want to play well for each other. So that's something that um, is definitely that's really good about this team. How does this defense for Ohio State kind of compare to Wisconsin? They both obviously have you know, top national defense units. Yeah, very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, very similar in the in the way that they play it's, as far as you know, just being relentless, um, confident, and uh, you know I think they, both teams had athletic safeties and. and a, Extremely solid pass rush and defensive line, so we'll, we'll see a lot of similarities there. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, just trying to get better each game and build off of um, each outing, learn things, and, and be able to apply it to the next game is something I'm focusing on. Yeah, I think he's he's 
so quick and shifty. I think he's a perfect third down threat. And uh, um, you're just in any situation. So I think we've been doing a good job of moving him around and finding different ways to get him open. And uh, he's been doing a great job making those clutch catches and moving the chains. So he's, uh, he's just a great player in that way. If, uh, what, what do you say to guys if, you know, if they do get football in their hand, maybe it's a catch they think they should have had or maybe you thought they should have had? Do you, do you say anything to them? Or what, what's kind of the message to guys if there's some drops going around? Um, not much. Just go, go up to them and give them some reassurance and tell them that, you know, we just need you to catch the next one. So don't, don't worry about the last one. And, uh, you know, when things like that happen, you know, we're going to need those guys to make plays later in those games. So just to make sure they keep their confidence up and uh, just focus on the next ball. Coach, you guys aren't designed a whole lot out of the, outside the pocket, obviously, but you made a couple plays in each of the last couple games. Do you feel comfortable, whether it's by design or, or getting outside, in those sort of yeah, I think you know we saw some good coverage last game, and I was um, just kind of when things break down, you know, I think my the last step of my progression is to run and get out and try to make a play. So I'll continue to work on that and focus on that. But I, I do feel comfortable if I need to do that. Thank you.